Ladies and gentlemen, it is April 1st, first day of the month, end of the first quarter. So much shit is happening this week. We have our boot camp happening in the mentorship. We have folks coming into town to visit us midweek. We have potential new students coming by on Thursday. And we have our master class instead of happening on Saturday, it'll be on Wednesday afternoon. And then we have the freaking mastermind. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. A lot of people coming out. It's gonna be a blast. I can't wait. I'm so excited. We're doing it here in the house. So there's a lot of work that needs to happen in the house for us to be ready by this coming Friday. So just planning all that. You guys gonna watch on this vlog this week. It's gonna be probably the, one of the more action-packed episodes and we have had in a very long time. It's gonna be Monday through Sunday. So instead of Monday through a typical Friday, it's gonna be the entire week condensed down to one. So I think you guys are gonna get a lot in this one. The main theme here is how to stay productive when you have so much going on. Don't know if you guys ever feel a little overwhelmed when you have a lot of stuff going on. You're like, I got so much to do, so I just don't even get anything done. Have you ever felt that way? Well, this week I'm gonna share with you guys how I try to stay productive and stay on top of things that need to get done on top of obviously all the craziness that has to happen. This week is just a little bit crazy. Monday has been one of these days just kind of setting everything up. We started the first day of the boot camp today, just gearing up for the rest of this week. It's going to be a crazy one, so stick with me to the end. You're going to love this one. Yo, Mastermind is literally three days away. We got so much shit to do. We got our t-shirts ordered today. They'll be here by Thursday. Austin came up with a sick design. You guys got to see it. Well, you'll see it here. I'm super stoked, man. We're so close. We're getting everybody's arrangements together. We got Anthony Torres. We're working with him to get his hotel. And last minute stuff is always the craziest, but every day is a little bit closer. So I spent a lot of time today getting like a lot of our masterclass recordings and stuff and getting ready for tomorrow so you guys got to check in the description i put all the master class recordings together you're gonna love it so let's keep going two days we'll see you tomorrow all right we are two days away from mastermind big day tomorrow we ordered the tables everything will be here i think i'm gonna get a grill so we can grill out on friday night and play some yard games in the back got a weed eat and do some stuff we got from home depot fixing some patches i don't know all the stuff coming together we did our master class today we normally do it on saturdays but we did it today because wanted to make sure we still did it again going back to that same paradigm i say guys you want your life to change you think about who the best version of you is and be that person. What do you want to do? You want to be the best investor in town? You want to be someone who's super successful? Great. Who is that person? Who do you need to be to be that person? And then think about the things of what that person does. Well, this is what they're going to do on a consistent basis. They don't call out. They don't say something and do another or not keep their word. So we did our master class today, which normally would be on a Saturday. We did it today to make sure we did it because that's what a world-class investor slash coach will do. And they're also going to make sure they have a badass mastermind Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So be, do, have. And that's what we're doing. So two days left for Mastermind. Trying to stay productive on top of this. Managing the calendar is the name of the game. So I've been planning my day ahead of time, which has really helped. But I will tell you a hack that I've done in the past has helped me every single day because I'm like ADHD all the time, all over the place. I don't know about HD. I'm at least ADD. It's just, if it's not on the calendar, it doesn't get done. So no matter what it is, I put it on my freaking Google calendar. Literally that simple. And I like writing stuff down because when I write something down, I feel like I'm even more likely to not just think about it. Now I've written it down. So now I've thought about it twice. I can always go back and reference it. If you guys don't know, I keep one of these little books around so not only do i have my big book but i have these little books so vince knows i'm like vince here like all my video ideas are right here for any week video i write out the script i write out the video idea in these little green books i got mine at barnes and noble you can get them from anywhere they're like small you put them in your pocket always keep them with me because i like writing stuff down so anyways two days left for mastermind we'll see you tomorrow Bye. All right, we're spending the whole entire day trying to get set up for the mastermind tomorrow. Crazy, had to go to Ikea. We had to go pick up some stuff at Costco. We had to pick up literally the smallest things you wouldn't even think to get ready for tomorrow. So as you guys can see, Frank was a big help getting all this stuff set up, but ultimately we got a lot more stuff to do to be ready for in the morning. We got furniture to build and yeah, literally people are gonna be coming first thing tomorrow morning. So we're kind of up against the clock, but shout out, it's gonna be an awesome event. I'm super excited to got some people that I've never met in person coming for the first time. And then Saturday, Sunday is gonna be crazy because we have a lot of people coming in. It's just gonna be joining us for the weekend. We have special guests coming in and we're Zooming. That's what Mastermind's always about. Excited to kind of get to it, but we gotta finish some work first. So we'll see you tomorrow on Friday, first day of Mastermind. Day one of the Mastermind is a wrap. We came here and rented out this awesome basketball court. This is actually the floor from one of the All-Star Games, NBA All-Star Games here in Phoenix. Crazy. So we had a team out, had some folks come out and play with us. We get started early tomorrow, but day one was amazing. We got some special guests. Crazy, crazy, crazy fun. This is fun to see everybody. Talk real estate, talk life. This is what it's all about. Day one's a wrap. We'll see you tomorrow, day two.
Oh my goodness, what a crazy weekend. My gosh, Saturday was insane. We had some really special speakers come up. Nick Legamaro joined us. I had a good friend of mine, Tyler Pugh, come and present his business. He does a lot of similar stuff we do with a couple little tweaks here and there in his business, which I think is really interesting. He gave a ton of value to the group. One of the things that he does is he has a VA that cold calls for him that sets him up on a ton of appointments, and he's just a one-man show. So I think that's really helpful for a lot of people. When you get into real estate, sometimes you don't think that you want to build a business that has like 20 employees. Employees. Some people just want to do it yourself and be able to do your own fix and flips, your own wholesale deals. And that's basically what he does. And I think that was a uh, really cool. It was a great value to the group. And then we went to Andretti's to go go-kart racing. Well, one thing we didn't take into account was they were going to be super packed. So we went to Mexico first, got dinner as a group, and then we went go-kart racing. And uh, can I just take a moment to just appreciate how slow Austin was? My gosh, he couldn't even get out the gates, guys. You're going to see here. In <laughs> he started started to take off and literally the first little hill, he couldn't even get over the hill. He, his cart started rolling back down. <laughs> he wanted to delete the footage too and uh, I would have been pretty upset. So luckily the footage stays intact and you guys are going to see it. Craziness. It was fun. Saturday was a great time. Sunday was a day where we kind of had a smaller group because it was, hey, we still needed to do what we call our hot seats. I love the last like day and a half of mastermind because it's a lot of like individual feedback and support and that's what we did so we had everybody get together we brought them up and we broke down their individual business maybe it's the business that's holding them back maybe it's the system but most of the time it's like what's happening between the ears it's in your own mindset spent a lot of time with each individual person going over that and then we finished off the mastermind at top golf which was awesome. I love Top Golf. It was fun to get everybody the last little event together. It's the only time I've ever done this at a mastermind where we've done like something every single night. So we played basketball on Friday, we did Entretti's on Saturday, and we did Top Golf on Sunday. But it was a crazy weekend. Not only was it crazy, but I feel like so many people got a lot out of it. Honestly, I'm excited. Made some really good connections, even for myself. Matt Sessa was here just beside me a minute ago. He's coming in, he's joining the program. Excited to connect with so many of you. Really, it's like the only thing about doing mastermind Friday, Saturday, Sunday is like literally we roll back into the week and it's Monday again. So it's like a long work week. It's not stop. Vince can probably attest to this because he was here at like eight o'clock every single day. We can all feel like we need to get a break. And here it is almost six o'clock at the end of the day and trying to recap everything. We do this for you guys. Hopefully you get value from this. This week was one of the weeks where we got a lot going on between the mentorship, the promises that I got to keep over there, plus having to deliver at the mastermind. But I mean, I really feel like we're hitting our stride. It didn't feel like it took away from anything, Vince. I don't know about what you, but like, it just felt like it was just more of what we already do. Like I was just so relaxed all weekend, having it here at the house, talking real estate. It just flowed so nicely. Work becomes a lot more fun when you can do it that way, when you can enjoy it and it just feels natural. And just to get to be around people that are your people. I say this all the time. If you're in real estate, you like talking about real estate business, you say your vibe attracts your tribe. I feel like our vibe is just like, we attract some really awesome people and some, they have really good hearts. So it was a great week, but staying productive on top of this, guys, I'll say it time and time again. The hack that I do every single day is I plan my day ahead of time by doing it the night before. My stuff that I was breaking down at the mastermind, I already knew what I wanted to discuss ahead of time, but I like to give myself some mental notes so I can just look at it and be like, all right, how can I stay on track? And this is a very interesting phenomenon that I was trying to explain to one of the students is that, you know, if I need to really put my thoughts together on a specific topic like lead generation or creative financing, or if you said, Matt, what's the best way to make money? And you got five minutes. I want you to talk five minutes about the best way to make money. I'm going to need a lot of time to prepare. I'm going to need time to put my thoughts together so I can make that five minutes is like the most poignant that I can possibly make it. It's like straight to the point, value packed. But if I had to talk about the best way to make money and you said, Matt, I need you to spend 30 minutes talking about the best way to make money. Well, I probably would need maybe a couple hours to prepare, right? Maybe an afternoon or maybe a few days, right? But if I needed to talk about, you know, say, hey man, I need you to tell me the best way to make money. You want you to talk about it for an hour, then I'm ready to go right now. If I need to talk about a subject and I have more time to speak about it, I can go right now. I don't need any time to prepare. Like I'm ready to go. But like, as you have to take more time to think about subjects, to make your thoughts more concise, it takes more time to prepare. So the reality is guys, Sometimes there's certain parts of your life where you've been winging it for a long time and you're not preparing and you're wondering why you're not getting the results is because you're not taking that prep time, right? Perfect practice creates perfect results. You got to prepare ahead of time. I didn't need to prepare for weeks and weeks to figure out what I was going to talk about over a three day period. I'm pretty much ready to go. Like I could do a 
it right now again, just because I'm so privy to the topics and so privy to the subject that I was ready to do it. So it's an interesting thought. And I want you guys to really take this from this weekly vlog after the mastermind and all the things that happen. Like in your life, where are you not spending enough time preparing? And in your life, where do you feel like you could sit there and talk for hours on it? Like if you're a sports fan and someone asks you to talk about your favorite sports team, I guarantee you can spend hours talking about your favorite sports team and how they performed over the last decade. Probably come off pretty easily. That's how comfortable you have to get with the subject at hand. Like if you want to get better at pitching and get more deals in your real estate business, well, you probably just need to do a lot more of it to the point where it becomes that natural. If you're not there yet, this means you do more practice and that's great because that means you can control that and that means you control your financial future. So I think that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. We're gonna be doing some fun videos here on the channel coming up week, this coming week. We got Matt Sessa. He is gonna be door knocking to get deals on foreclosure. We're going out door knocking on Thursday. So I'm gonna take the camera crew and we're gonna go door knock together and we're gonna record it. I'm literally gonna record his entire journey starting brand new in real estate. He comes from door knocking so he's used to that aspect of it, but he just has no real estate specific knowledge. So I'm gonna be teaching him everything from start to finish. I think you guys are gonna get a ton of value from it and we might pit him up against Vince to see who does better. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Vince says, I wouldn't mind a $10,000 check. So like, let's get it, let's get it. So shout out, thank you guys for watching this edition of the vlog. Hopefully you're liking this weekly format. Vince does a great job editing and chopping these things up. So really appreciate you too, Vince. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you know what to do. See you next time.